yeah, that's right. I got him. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho from the great Canada. Anyone watching this from Canada? I love Men Without Hats. Their album, Rhythm of Youth, is really good. Now I'm back from the unboxing. Sorry, I had to deal with a quick, quick cut there. I, uh... Had a little camera difficulty, but it's back online now. Back online -y. Um, Are you guys still watching? I'm sorry for that. But I'm going <clears> to <throat> unbox him right now with what? Yeah, that's right. My trusty Swiss Army knife. Uh, only to be used if you know how. I don't know how. Don't tell on me. Don't tell my dad. Because I apologize. I got this at Target. Um, it was quite spooky. Uh, you might have seen my tweets about it. I, I ran into some toy scalpers when I was trying to get it. I know Los Scalperos were out in the numbers. There were a bunch of them with their carts and everything. And I was freaking out thinking, oh no, there's such a good sale on WWE figs. What if they take them all, especially Chris Jericho, because I, I, I thought he would be super easy to get. I was going to get him super cheap, but uh, people like to buy Chris Jericho. Probably because it's Chris Jericho. Y2J. People love Y2J. Uh, but luckily, they, they didn't go to WWE first. They went to Hot Wheels. I didn't know people collect Hot Wheels. If you do, let me know and try and change my view why I should. Here's the case without a minute. Looks just like the case with them in it. Here are the people on the back. Most of them you don't need to get. I hear Kofi's good. I'm not going to get him, I think, though. Now to take him out. He's out. Uh, the thing about basics um, is that sometimes you get some that totally explain why they're basic. They're just bare bones. And then sometimes you get basics where you really question, man, I wish... This was a not a basic in Elite. Why'd they waste their time putting this out as a basic and not Elite? This is one of them. This is a really, really nice figure. Look at that detail on the legs. His one-piece underwear. Back it says Y2G 2013. It's 2014 now. Don't get confused, please. A new face sculpt, I'm almost certain. It looks a lot like the Miz's old face with the hair like that. But it's not bad when you look at it from this angle. Uh, but it kind of looks like something that would belong in the Backstreet Boys or something. Or NSYNC. Then Chris Jericho. But I'll let that slide. It's probably the tips that do it. Look at that. Ooh -hoo. Uh, and hey, check it out. They even did his tattoo on his hand. That's really nice. Articulation for this guy, he's loose on this figure. He's pretty loose, except for the feet, probably because there's all that extra paint. Um, it's nice silver. It shines in the light. But other than that, man, it's just a figure. Uh, it's a good, good figure. If you want to get an extra one from the series, get it. If you don't have a Chris Jericho like me, this is my first Chris Jericho, guys. Uh, first Mattel Chris Jericho, I think. I might have another. This is one of my first Chris Jerichos, and I'd rate it a pretty great out of two. Um, if you like this video, why not check out my review for Vicky? Or... If you'd rather watch a completely unrelated video, why not check out this Toy Hunt, where I found this basic series. Thanks guys for watching, and if you have any questions about this Chris Jericho, I'll answer it in the comments, because right now where it stands, it's a good figure, but it should have been late. This is Tommy wishing you a fantastic figure Friday.